Hi everybody, this is Terry from Pampering Self Products. And this afternoon, I am going to be making an agave lime soap. Um, the fragrance is from Be Scented. And the colors that I picked today are Lime Appeal from Nurture and then Lollipop from Nurture. I just kept going back and forth. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. But I think I have picked it out now. Just grabbing a pair of gloves here. Do do do. I've been waiting for a delivery, and it is now four o'clock, and they still haven't delivered. So, any time now would be good. Usually they deliver in the morning, so I'm not sure what is up. I'm going to cover my watch so I don't get any lie stuff on there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pour. Okay, I see it. I'm going to go ahead and pour in my lye solution. It does have silk and sodium lactate in it. And I am soaping... About 10 degrees warmer than I normally do. I basically got tired of waiting for the, um, the lye to cool off, the lye solution. Gosh, this smells, I can smell the lime really strong. I hope it stays. Let me give this a quick whirl. I thought they, that delivery was here earlier today and um, I thought they were having trouble um, getting in the onto my porch so I opened up the door and who's there but a salesperson. So and I try to avoid those people and granted I'm a salesperson too but I don't try to push stuff down people's throats. And she was nice, but it's just the whole idea. I'm going to go ahead and add in my fragrance. This might be a new favorite. Mm. I have one soap that I make. It's um, I called it Lime Appeal, and obviously the color is Lime Appeal. But it's got lime essential oils in it. And this this fragrance might have that beat. I have to see how it holds up. Mixed in really nice. I'm gonna grab my two little buckets here. really not sure how much I want. I know what I want to do, but I'm not sure how much it, it will take to do that. Okay, here's my TD mixed with water. And I want this part nice and white. So I'll Got it pretty much mixed in. I still have to um, take the stick blender in there, of course, but it's a good start. I don't know um, who will have seen it by then, but um, video I did, I think it was yesterday, I um, I was talking about um, a wholesale soap that the green was not good and I was trying to convince myself that it was okay and 
it was it by geez, 9 9 30 last night I went in and I checked it and it had almost totally turned back to the green that I wanted so and then by this morning it was a hundred percent back so I had nothing to worry about So finally, I got my safety data sheets from one of the vendors I've been after. Now if I could get them from, I've got three other vendors that have got some outstanding, but one of them is a lot. Not a fan of excuses from these people. I know they're busy, but it shouldn't be anything that they have to do a lot of work on. It's a part I don't understand. Because they should already have them in hand. Granted, so should I have, but um, get excited and I want to try new vendors. And now, if the SDS isn't on the website, I don't, I don't order it, order anything. This thickened up a lot. But it's, it's still workable. Come on a little bit more. And try something a little bit different. See if mixing this up a little bit will loosen it. Okay, I'm going to try, I saw John from a and Suds, she took and she just poured, ah, just wreck that idea, she poured her color down one side and then um, she took a chopstick and swirled it. And I just wrecked it. Well, I didn't wreck it. The slope's still going to be gorgeous, but um, this is just a little bit too thick to do that with. But I'm still going to just put it down on this one side here. I'm just take it a little bit slower with this color. There's that. I'm going to get another spatula and see if I can get, it's kind of big for this bowl, but that's okay. And I know that this, this green for sure changes back. I'm not going to have an ugly soap on my hands. Alright, I think what I'm going to do now is I don't know where it's going to take a um, hanger to it. 
but my hanger seems to be missing. I just used it this morning, so it's probably still in the sink. So I will take and just use the chopstick. I didn't really want to do it that way, but that's okay. Just something a little bit different. And I'm going to turn this around. <clears throat> oh. Put this in the sink. All right. Oh, I still needed that. Okay, and then I'll put more of the green on. It's plopping now. I have to make note that this does need to move a little faster. Because it does thicken up. I don't, you know, I didn't even look at the notes. I don't, I don't think Bicenta actually has um, notes like that listed. I could be wrong, but I don't think they do. I just have to have dishes done before my husband comes home. do this pink which was what it was lollipop kind of reminds me of bubblegum like the cherry bubblegum when I where I was growing up um, it's over on the other side of the state in Michigan um, the High school was on the other side of the fence from my, at the end of my parents' property. So I have some good memories about that. Um, before we got into, you know, wearing skirts and stuff, we would take and take the shortcut and just hop the fence. And then, um, we had one neighbor that would have been, I think it would be east of us. And then after them was the ballpark. And that's that's what made me think of this whole thing was the bubble gum we used to get at the ballpark. And that, and um, they had Frozen um, Charleston shoes. Oh, those were so good. It's funny, I was on Facebook and um, my sister had posted something. My parents passed away a couple years ago. More like three or four years ago and she is missing my dad and somebody said that yes he was a sharp dresser and it's like mm, you didn't see him when he was wearing plaid shorts and um, plaid shorts dark socks and dress shoes He wasn't styling then. We were so embarrassed. But I would, I don't know now. As a kid, yes, that, and that was embarrassing. But now, I would, what I would give to see him in there. 
and someday I will. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do here. that back in the mold and then I'll just fix these little areas here. Bam 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 fixed. I like it. There's still mm, I don't want to wreck it by trying to push something in there that doesn't need to be in there. Okay this is the agave lime so I can get that fairly close anyway to the camera. So I'm, I don't think it needs to have any glitter or anything on it. So I will spray it. This is my um, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. So we are all set and I will, I'm gonna leave my gloves on to wash these dishes, but I'll bring you back tomorrow for the cut. Okay, we're back to Thanks. cut the agave lime. If I remember right, that this did get um, pretty thick on me. So I'm going to just cut off this little end piece here. And I see it does have some air pockets. But once I... Um, Once I plane the soap, most of those will disappear. Okay, here's the first cut. Oh, that's cool. I really like those colors. I like this. Pretty. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. And that lime smell that I talked about yesterday is still pretty strong. So um, it's a good fragrance. You just have to uh, make sure that you're moving quick enough. to get it in the mold and achieve the what you want for it. I just wasn't moving fast enough cuz I guess I didn't I didn't read the notes. And I didn't look up anything. So I didn't know that um, that it accelerates. But it is noted on my batch record. So it is nine o'clock in the morning here and um, when we got up and checked the weather, it was already 37 degrees, which is a nice change of pace. We've had a very cold winter, so Spring is on the way. Okay, gosh, I really like that one. I like that, just this little swirl here. That's pretty. And then the same swirl on my sample bar. So that turned out really great. I can't wait till it's cured so I can move on with it. So I guess that's it. I will bring you guys back for the next video. Enjoy your day, do something that is fun or productive, interesting, something that you want to do, not something that you're, you're feeling forced to do. So do something for yourself today and have a fantastic day. Bye for now.